I think that simplicity has become important because of our technology-based culture, our flattened world. We live in a world that is so complex. It hasn't been helped by the internet, which has made the world so connected and real time. Um, and so we're looking for a, a simpler life somehow. Artists are able to imagine so well. Designers can also organize so clearly. So the, this species of mind uh, can be leveraged in the sciences and in business in new ways. And people are dying to integrate more design thinking, art thinking. This is one of my early Selectric typing balls. Um, you know, there used to be this typewriter, you sort of put it on things and it would, it would move. It would rotate and move in this beautiful way and like lets you like type. And uh, I did a piece called Tap Type Write in 1996 based upon this little ball of type. It came kind of a, a living typewriter as a kind of a performance. I'm curious about how that same uh, innovative creativity power can be used in so many sectors that it hasn't touched yet whether it be the recent financial crisis, how to visualize that, ways to solve long-term disease questions. Um, that is something that I think that art and design can enter and change the game. So that, I'm very optimistic about that possibility as well. Some people complain that I speak a lot about how artists and designers can do all these other things besides art and design. <laughs> Both are valid, of course. I find it interesting how to blend the two together. That's my goal. For me, design comes from the fact that my father was a cook, so I love to cook, create, um, organize, um, and that would have probably ended up as a restaurant somewhere. I was at MIT and I was lost and looking for something that smelled like design. Uh, I didn't know what it looked like or tasted like, and Muriel said to me, oh, you should go to art school, Joan. I, I had no idea what that meant because uh, I was at MIT, engineering school, but it's an art school. Um, but I took that advice and uh, I let go of computers and my life was changed because of that. What drove me to study simplicity was the fact that I, as an MIT educated person, found problems maintaining my computers and mobile phones. And uh, I would have people say to me, you have problems too? And I realized that if I had problems, everyone else had bigger problems and they had to address that somehow. Uh, so simplicity, the philosophy of how design, technology, and business and life come together became a, a good focus for me to approach. The best example I know of simplicity is that device we all have in our kitchen cabinets. The one where you open the drawer and you put your fork and your spoon and knife into this tray thing. It's an organizer. Everyone gets it. It's so simple to understand. Whereas if you go to like a a Staples or an office supply store, um, you, if you look for the ultimate desk organizer, you never find it. So there's something about that fork, spoon, knife thing that works perfectly, that embodies simplicity. It gets it right all the time. My motivation comes from the fact that I think I've been very lucky and I feel like I have um, reason to try to work harder. When you're lucky, you want to keep on giving away the luck.